The United States Supreme Court heard its first abortion access case since overturning Roe v. Wade, the law that legalized abortion in the United States, in 2022. We will hear argument this morning in Case 23235, the Food and Drug Administration versus Alliance for Hippocratic Medicine and the Consolidated Case. General Prelliger. Mr. Chief Justice, and may it please the court. The High Court heard oral arguments in the case the Food and Drug Administration versus Alliance for Hippocratic Medicine. This is a consolidated case, and it challenges the FDA's approval for expanded use of the abortion pill, metapristone. That medication was approved by the Food and Drug Administration in 2000. It's part of a two-pill regimen for terminating early pregnancies. Congress entrusted the FDA with the sole authority to approve new drugs and subsequent changes. The federal judiciary has respected that authority for decades, applying an appropriately narrow standard of review to FDA's drug approval decisions. Second guessing the scientific data-driven judgments of an independent agency is an extreme position that could inject uncertainty across American life. In 2016, the Food and Drug Administration expanded the drug's use from seven to 10 weeks of pregnancy. It also reduced the number of in-clinic appointments needed and gave prescribing authority to health care providers who are not physicians. In 2021, the agency removed the in-person requirement altogether. This medication accounted for more than 60% of U.S. abortions last year. Women are now left to receive these drugs in the mail or at in their dorm room without ever having been checked by a doctor for life-threatening conditions. That's reckless. These doctors are part of the continuing effort to outlaw women's rights to an abortion or medical treatment nationwide. In this case, they used the argument that some doctors might have to treat a woman who had complications due to the abortion pill. But that argument is a hypothetical. No such case exists. It's a flawed argument and a dumb, ridiculous case. They have said that they fear that there might be some emergency room doctor somewhere, someday, who might be presented with some woman who is suffering an incredibly rare complication, and that the doctor might have to provide treatment, notwithstanding the conscience protections. We don't think that harm is materialized, but what the court did to guard against that very remote risk is enter sweeping nationwide relief that restricts access to mifepristone for every single woman in this country, and that causes profound harm. Now, this particular case dates to 2023. It was first heard in federal district court in Texas, where the judge halted the Food and Drug Administration's approval of the medication. On appeal, a three-judge Fifth Circuit panel then ruled only against the FDA's expanded access criteria. Just know that judge in Texas, that federal judge, is one of the most anti-abortion judges in the country. Those who are trying to overturn all forms of abortion in the United States went specifically to him because they knew he would block a woman's right to medical privacy. Cited in the Supreme Court arguments was a 151-year-old law, the Comstock Act of 1873, rarely used. Under that law, it's illegal to use carriers such as the United States Postal Service to mail obscene materials such as, quote, drugs that induce abortions. And abortion rights advocates are concerned that if former President Donald Trump is reelected, he will utilize that law to undercut this medication. That is what the anti-abortion, anti-right-to-privacy-for-women factions want. Now, the nation's highest court is going to decide what happens here by the end of June 2024.